everybody. I know this uh, video is long overdue, but uh, came back here, Western Firearms, to do that follow-up video with Alex. Um, if you remember last time uh, he had the ultrasonic machine going on, and it uh, did a lot of, it made a lot of interference to the uh, audio. So we're gonna come back here and take a look at his uh, 1911 grips and everything else. So you guys pretty much remember all this stuff. Coming through here. So, so they are. So that's Aurelio. This is Alex. Say hello. These are the uh, owner operators of Western Firearms here in the city of Bell. And here, what we're going to be looking at today. Uh, last time, like I said um, in the beginning, we were talking about these and uh, we had some interference from the ultrasonic, but today that's not going to be a problem. So, Alex, you're going to take it from here and tell us everything about your 1911 uh, customization, engraving, and your, your grips. So, as you can see down here, these are where we have our fancy 1911 grips. Uh, some are studded, some are engraved, mostly all are gold and chrome. Uh, we do now, we do laser engraving in house now. So, for example, I've got one here. So this is an old Model 911 US Army that a customer had and brought in and we laser engraved and gold inlaid all this work here. So you got this on top. Name engraved on the trigger on both sides. And then we continued on the back here. And this this gun was saying I get the, the high polish bluing, custom grips. Uh, old magazine. And this gun was really beat up when it first came in and we tried our best to get it pristine and the nice finish done to it. It's a beautiful gun. Uh, aside from that, for the 1911s we also make these custom boxes. So you can display your art, art piece in. And just recently we started doing them for clocks also. And we can engrave on the glass whatever you want. Uh, we've done some for some celebrities in oh, really? the uh, Spanish music industry. You know, like corridos and stuff like that. Um, we also do, I think we covered last time, custom seracoding, or not seracoding, I'm sorry, duracoding. Yeah, uh, the glocks and the... Uh... Yeah, so I've got one that's fresh over here. And this one's actually for one of those uh, celebrities that we're talking about. I don't like to drop names, just that we do it for celebrities. I <laughs> uh, just came in wanted something different from the other Glocks that he has. So we did this angular style camouflage. And not your traditional colors, just something more a little different from what you normally see out there. Uh, I don't know what else I can tell you about the 1911s. I mean, we do gold, chrome, high polish blue, high polish stainless steel. Either we can do laser engraving, and we have a guy that does hand engraving, so you have a choice of what you want to do. Also, um, we should probably go back over on the grips because remember, you could probably better explain it than I could have during that voiceover. Okay. Um, but you're jeweled and inlaid and. Um, Thank you. 
Here's a third. So this is pretty much kind of the gamut of what we run here. So we, we have these silver and gold plated stamped steel. Then we have these that are actually encrusted on silver. That's an actual silver? Actual silver. And so this is fully encrusted and this is partial. So this is a mix of hand engraving with studs and uh, I believe these are cubics. I don't have to double check, but so but right now this is really popular, it's like fully encrusted. To the point where you can mount on your AR with the 1911 adapter. So this rifle has the Mexican flag on one side and the US flag on the other. And speaking of engraving, this one's a this one was hand engraved, and this is not nickel or chrome. This is high polished stainless steel. Oh wow! So you don't get that same mirror finish as you do with chrome, but it's pretty close. And I think it looks personally, I think I like it better than nickel plated. Yeah, but well, how long did it take for that polish? Um, to get to this point, probably a couple of days. A couple of days of polishing. Yeah. yeah, that's not nickel plated, guys. It's all hand polished. Yeah, you gotta take any blemishes off from the standard finish. Go with a few different grits of sandpaper to your about 2,000 2000 grit and then on the machine to get that, that real good shine. And being careful not to lose any of the uh, detail in like the original stamping or the uh, curvature or, or the hard lines on the on the pistol. Okay. Can I take a look at the other side? Sure. Oh. So another thing that I offer here at Western Firearms as far as our 1911 grips are these uh, like graphic type custom grips. Um, basically I can, if it's a good photo, high res or image, I can mount that image onto your 1911 grip. Uh, I pretty much start off with just an ivory, plain ivory grip and through my own process I apply the graphic onto the grip and then do a heavy clear coat so it'll last and it's a, it's a UV clear coat so you don't have to worry about fading over the years and uh, if it's a photograph, an image, anything that can be applied here can be done I just gotta keep in mind that it's gonna be like an ivory background like this so it's gonna show through the image um, should have some more pictures of this, like in, in the first few photos on my Instagram page, of the other stuff I do, and on Facebook. Uh, honestly, the inspiration behind this was from that movie Romeo and Juliet with uh, Leonardo DiCaprio with those pretty cool oh, yeah, that yeah. they ran. The night of made a dagger and all that stuff. Because they had the, uh, like the Virgin Mary, you know, and I, I like the way that looks, so I was coming up with my own way to do it. And uh, there should be a sample of that on, on Facebook somewhere. Cool. This is Aurelio Lopez. He's the owner and father of Alex Lopez uh, here for Western Firearms. Um, he's going to tell us a little bit about the history here. Eh, lo que le puedo decir es que tenemos aquí ya un buen tiempo sirviendo a la, a la gente hispana y tratamos de mantener la pues una una costumbre de la gente venir aquí a esta tienda buscando las partes de la 38 Super y tratamos de pues mantener esa, esa imagen de la mejor manera que se pueda tratar de dar buen servicio en cualquier aspecto de algo algo que la gente le gusta las cachas el grabárselas tenemos este buen, buenas buenos clientes que nos han seguido por mucho tiempo 
es, servimos a la gente en el servicio de darle las clases en español a los cazadores y pues ahí tenemos muchos años este, haciéndolo y tratamos de, de seguir esa, 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 mismo, esa misma costumbre y pues ojalá y que algún día tengan la oportunidad de conocernos y aquí estamos para servirles. Este, uh, ahí está, hacemos muchas cosas al gusto del cliente y pues nos mantenemos ocupados ahí. Thank you, Aurelio. Here's Alex again. He's gonna give us some new information and uh, translate some of the stuff from uh, what his father said. So, pretty much what my dad said is that we've been serving the community here in Bell for many years now. Um, and again, touching on the 1911 stuff, that we're pretty much known for customizing 1911s, and anything that our customers want or would like to get done, we can pretty much do it. Um, as like he said, you know, grips, finishes, the engraving, and which also brings me now to the new service that we have, uh, laser engraving. And here are just some small examples of, of what we can do. Uh, what I have here on these two first slides, I don't know if you can see it through the, to, through the uh, showcase. So the first slide at the bottom is hand engraved uh, flourishes. The one on top is laser engraved flourishes. So the person that's not very familiar with hand engraving or laser engraving, they're pretty similar in, in design. Uh, of course we do like rep replicate the Colt logos, the horse, the symbol itself. Uh, here's an example on that magazine extension tube. Uh, an example of deep engraving with a photo engraving. That can be done also. Um, some multi-layered type engraving. And then just sporadic samples of other stuff that we've done. And how long have, uh, when did you guys start offering the service? Uh, it's been about two months now. Two months. Uh, we're it's been about three months, but the first one was just getting familiar with the machine. Uh, this is the machine right here. Uh, it does anything from plastic. Actually, I don't have it in the wind in the showcase, but like magazines, uh, logos that can be done. These are all your test mags, right? So even on even on certain types of wood, it can be done also. Uh, here's an example, like some those Rock Island grips. So you can do a multitude of materials, which is what I, I like doing with the machine. If I'm not working on a gun, I'll be on a machine spacing around with uh, different materials and see what I can and can't do. That's so cool. something new for me to use. And what's the, um, you, you do, uh, your dad was telling me earlier, you guys do dog tags and all that too. Yeah, I've got just, again, just some quick examples there. Different types of uh, finishes on the dog tags. You, 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 depending on how you adjust the laser, you can get just like a light brush look or a burnt end look. Uh, so that's what makes the machine very versatile is that you can do all that kind of stuff. Pretty cool stuff, man. Yeah. Just one of the one of the many services that the Western Firearms has to offer for the uh, gun community. Uh, it's got targets here, a lot of grips for uh, revolvers and uh, firearms, and all kinds of accessories here you know, for your you AR AR10 builders cleaning kits and just they have a lot of stuff here you guys should come check them out ask for Alex or Aurelio they're always here and oh uh, real quick Alex yeah what are you guys hours uh, Monday through Friday we're here from 8 30 to 7 Saturdays 8 30 to 6 Sundays 9 to 3 so we're here seven days a week all right guys that's Alex with Western Firearms and thanks for watching